Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Adventure Time Pirates of the Enchiridion Let's Play. Last episode we continued with our little quest for side quests where we explore around you doing as much as we can. Uh, we actually dropped off a few of the candy kids that we had left uh, out on our boat for a bit. Which got us up to the 10 we needed to safely have them all back in the Candy Kingdom. So we were able to complete that quest, get a nice little amount of dosh for it and such. Uh, we're exploring around the Candy Kingdom currently, which is where you'll find us uh, as soon as it loads in. We are actually unlocked like a weird sewer area, <laughs> which is kind of cool. It kind of explains how to get a few chests that I didn't know how to get otherwise. I'm actually really excited to explore it. Uh, part of a side quest is probably found within this, as well as, of course, those chests I just mentioned. Uh, we still need to defeat the Kraken. We have one more pirate ship to defeat, and we're still looking for some penguins, although we know where one of them is, uh, like absolute south of the map. We accidentally had to leave him there, <laughs> unfortunately, because uh, our boat was full with those candy kids and those remaining penguins. Luckily, though, we should have just enough space to squeeze in any remaining penguins and hopefully find that last pirate and defeat that Kraken. We're really nearing the end of our adventure quite soon, it feels like. So I hope you guys have been enjoying this playthrough as much as I have uh, been playing it. Um, here we are, though. Ooh, some vermin. Let's keep that, or varmint, not vermin. Um, let's keep that in mind. We are doing kind of okay on health, so I'm not super worried about it. I thought I disappeared. It just wh whipped around the corner. Okay, it's coming at me. I was trying to get away from it for a second there, but here it goes. Got a little fight on our hands, so hopefully we can take this thing out pretty quick. We got a, is this a new battle theme? I don't remember hearing this. It's kind of sick. I kind of like this battle theme. Is it, I, I really hope this is new, or I'm going to look weird saying this. Um, are they weak to the ice? I felt like. I feel like they were weak to our ice moves. Let's go for a frozen storm. Can't really remember though. No, but we did get one frozen, so I'll take that for sure. Marceline can go for a nice hearty attack on this one. Probably take it out. There we go. Emo, are you able to finish him off? Emo is, of course. There we go. Victory. Got a little bit of experience, on everyone. His voice is echoing. I guess it's because we're in like a, a cave system. Makes sense. Um, okay. Can we step in this? We can. Okay, I thought, I thought it was going to be like a maze type thing. It's not. At least so far. Um, okay, nothing super weird yet. Ooh, some more varmint. Looks like some ice ones. Let's maybe switch uh, to BMO. Okay. I don't know if we got it all the way around, but I'd love to charge some energy and then throw it to Marceline for a nice big fire attack. I did see some ice varmint after all. Sitting them out with a fire move is probably the best call. Um, but I don't actually know if we were able to switch around in BMO in time. But we did. We did. We're good. Um, charge us up, BMO. Oh, and there's one that looks like it's Jinx all the way on the right. I almost said left. Um, so let's see. Maybe if we can go for a lightiousness attack. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'll take that for sure. I was going to say we could use Jake's ultimate here. <laughs> but there he goes. Um, we'll just muffin him back. He should be fine. Um, there's quite a few here, so if they go for that, like, swarm attack, it might be kind of bad, but otherwise we should be fine. Uh, let's heal up. Perfect. And then... Do we have one that hits two enemies? Yeah. Do a big flame two enemies. So we'll go for that on them. Nice. Super effective. Oh, we got one to overheat, too. BMO, I feel like, just charge. Very nice. Um, what do we do with Finn? I feel like we go for a... Um, just like a, the ice stack that hits both. And we can take out maybe these two on the right. Okay, at least the one. Okay, and we got frozen on the other. Very nice. Um... I think we go for our ultimate here. There we go. Okay. Oh, man. They're all on like one HP. Okay. Now they're going to horde after BMO. Okay. I guess not specifically BMO. Man, take a Jake out. Um. Okay. We might have to heal after this fight. We're taking a little bit of damage there. Okay. Marston got flumped. But we could probably start... Finish them off now, so it's not a big deal. Bimo, you could. Oh, I meant to take Bimo to tell him on the left. Is that going to be okay? Yeah, we're fine. And then Finn, just as long as he hit, we're good. There we go. Even if Finn didn't hit, we were good because it was overheated. So if it went for an attack, it would have died. There we go. Very nice. Oh, Bimo leveled up. Level 9. I think that's the highest level we have right now. 
Good job, Pima. Let's be a bit careful as we move forward, because I'm not going to heal immediately. Oop, Pima's kind of trapped in the corner there. Um, we'll switch to Finn. Um, okay, some little marshmallows. What is this area? Is this where we saw the chest? Yeah, it is. Okay. So we'll break that open. There we go. Found a page of the Enkai Radiant. Oh, we got game changers for BMO. Ooh, interesting. Speaking of BMO, let's open that up. We can sneak out here. What were we supposed to do in here? Oh, I guess we did it. Okay. Uh, I thought there was something more we were supposed to do. Fair enough. Okay, well, there's a few more treasure chests we'll grab before we fully leave the Candy Kingdom. And so let's make sure to do that. They're just wrapped around this corner here, I believe. There's a few. I think most of them are in the water, which we just... I thought... Oh, there's one up there. Okay. Okay, well, I know, I know how to get up there. Uh, it's going to take a second or two, though. So let's switch to Jake and bike our way over. Luckily, we've beaten, as far as I'm aware, all the main enemies in this area. So we should be just fine. Biking on up here. Oop, in the corner. Oh, okay. I was wrong. There's some enemies right there, but hopefully we can sneak right past them. There we go. One more. There we go. And then hop on our Jake bike. Oh, okay. It might be a little too tight quarters to really successfully bike around this area. Now we're good. Um... Okay, so where are these chests? There's one here. Yeah, I know where that one is. And one further up, which we know how to get to. So we're all good. Can I drop down here? No, I could drop down over here, though. Yeah, there we are. And it was just around this corner. I Weirdly enough, I feel like I remember seeing this and, like, acknowledging that I needed to get it, like, way early on in our playthrough when we were here originally and just not for some reason. So, kind of odd. Oh, I didn't see what I got from that. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully something good. Um, okay, I did see some more enemies. Oh, 10? Ooh. Is there no other way around them? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. <laughs> gonna slipped in there. Um, let's heal, but then we're gonna have to fight them, I think some heal alls just because everyone's a little low right now anyway that's fine um we'll go in with we'll say finn maybe i can't oh i absolutely can't come on come on come on no 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 wait maybe i can be smart about this get them to go all over there oh 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 no i think they're going back wait ah oh, <laughs> so close we almost snuck by them without having to fight but that's all right uh it should be pretty Although, actually, one was level 10, which is kind of ridiculous. Although, he looked like he was Jinx, and so I kind of knew his weakness, which definitely helps us. As soon as the fight started. I didn't see what the other two were. Um, gray. Okay. Well, we might as well use our Gauntlet and our uh, Marceline, Marceline Ultimate as well. Who's got the... I feel like we take you out. Because, again, if we can take his little buddies out, just overall they're going to be doing less damage. Okay, going for Jake there. That's kind of fine. Okay, Jinx Ball. Wow, that did a lot. Ooh. Okay, we need to be real careful in this fight. Oh, is that enough to finish it off? That'd be actually kind of hype. It is. Let's see. Hold on. Beamo's Game Changers. Oh, we deal flame damage, ice damage, and... Right. Oh, wow. And hold on. What did the high voltage do? Electro damage. Ooh. That's actually awesome. Um, I think for now that we're just going to charge. Because we have to upgrade those for them to really be good. Then with Jake, we'll go for a nice dog orang. Hopefully that'll do a good map. Good amount to everybody. Eh, could have done more. Okay, defense down. Love that. And flumped. I guess that's what defense down does. Um, sort of righteousness. Feel big righteousness to two enemies. Let's go for that. 
Nice. They did so much to that guy on the left. Oh, they fled. Perfect. I'll take that. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. It was scary at first because he did so much damage with that Jinx Ball to Jake, but we're all good. It's fine. It's kind of interesting that BMO is the highest level considering we got BMO last. I wonder how that happened. Okay, so I see one of the chests over there. Oh, that's the last one. Yeah, that's right, because we got the other one. Okay, so let's just get over there. And then it looks like we're going to have to fight those pirates, but that's fine. We fought plenty of pirates in our day. Um, so we should be just fine. Oh, I could have went over here earlier. I probably should have. Yeah, it would have made things way easier if I just went over here before I jumped into the little sewer, but that's all right. We're here now. Oh, can I just drop? Oh, I feel like that was a bad idea. <laughs> I'm going to be so honest. I feel like that wasn't the right idea. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. A little shortcut, I guess. And are we going to have to fight you guys, or are you just going to let us have it? That's the number one question. Oh, I'm going to have to fight you guys. <laughs> That's all right. One last chest, and then the Candy Kingdom is clear. So I'll take that all right. Let's just get into this fight real quick. And they're banana guards, so we know that their weakness is ice. And, of course, now we have Finn and Bimo can deal ice damage with Bimo's game changers. Uh, it's a shame we didn't get that earlier. It could be very, very useful. Um, ooh, but the issue is we have no energy. So maybe we just go for a basic attack? Is there anyone we could take out easy? You. Are you going after BMO now? I would love if you guys didn't take out BMO so that I could charge up some extra energy. Um, just attack. There you are. Deal a nice chunk of damage. Let's charge up energy with BMO there. Um, Jake. I feel like punch him. Because now he's got his ice shield up. So we're going to do our ice on the guy on the middle and right. Good job, BMO. Uh, ice sword. Ice frozen storm. There we go. Very nice. Okay, great. That's super annoying. Jake's about to go down. Um, might be able to take you out. Yeah, nice. Okay. Um, hmm. I feel like, yeah, we charge. Blocking, that's super frustrating. Let's go for dog orang then. Just deal some nice damage to everyone. Okay, that was a fair enough. And then I know he's got an ice shield, but we'll still go for the attack just because it'll probably still do a good amount. Yeah, it still did. Oh, we froze him too. That's huge. Okay, magical spear. Okay, frozen. That's so frustrating. Um, okay, just attack. I feel like this guy on the right, since the guy on the left is frozen. Vimo, let's check it out. I want to see your, your game changers. Snowball launcher. Go BMO. <laughs> yeah, BMO. <laughs> that that was pitiful. Oh, we got a freeze though. Good job, BMO. Let's just start punching then. Good job, BMO. I'm so proud of you, little dude. Okay, special attack up. That's kind of annoying. We'll probably still be fine. Let's do it. Oh, we don't have enough to go for it. Okay, that's fine. Just attack then, and then take you down. I feel like charge energy, and then we can go for an ice slam Macau on that guy. Once we get back around to Finn. Although Finn is frozen, so let's keep that in mind. So is the enemy, though. So maybe I, maybe I should have thought about that. Okay. And then BMO attack. There we go. And then one last attack will hopefully be enough. There we go. Very nice. Get out of here. Last hit bonus. <laughs> okay, and then we'll grab that last little chest here. I think it's the last one in the Candy Kingdom, so it'll be very nice to grab that. There we go. What do we get from that? Rockin'. Energy increase and a picture of James Baxter, as well as some Dosh, obviously. Let's get out of here now. Is there a faster way? Probably not. Yeah, nope. Um, so let's... Just sneak around here. Hopefully we can get away with not having to fight anyone. That'd be much appreciated. Um, that's right. We don't need to push that. We can just drop down here. Come up here. Wait, maybe I can... No, not over there. 
Okay, jump up here. Over here. Just leave it to me. Sneak through here. Just head back to the front of the Candy Kingdom and we should be all good. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Um Totally embarrassing. There we go. There we go. Then we'll uh set sail for the Fire Kingdom once again. Maybe stop to grab a few herrings along the way for our good buddy Prismo. Um, can I just actually drop here? I can't. I was planning on having to jump up there with Jake, but if I can just... I cannot. Okay. Um, my bad, Jake. You're going to have to put in some work. There we go. All aboard. One last big old stretch. There we are. Get on the Jake bike and zip on over. Hello, Banana Guards. Long time no see. And down here, let's hopefully not get in a fight with those little, like, pixie things. <laughs> that was a big drop, wow. Um. All right, round this corner, round this corner. Get some extra dosh, I guess. And then head on out. Although we do have 30,000 dosh almost. So maybe we finish this episode off by looking into some upgrades. It's been a while since we've done that. At least two episodes, I feel like. You know, 30,000 dosh is not laughable. We also just got a bunch of new attacks for uh, BMO. So maybe we upgrade BMO a bit. Let's switch on over to our little buddy. Hey, BMO. Um... We'll make that, and then this, just so you can take more hits. And then let's look at your specials. Uh, that's not even that expensive. Yeah, you know what? So let's just dump everything into that. So Because be Bimo being able to dish out elemental damage is huge, especially now that we have this electric element, which we didn't have before. Or voltage attacks, I guess. We'll also upgrade all this, just because Bimo is awesome. There we go. Maxed out Bimo for now. Marceline, I think... Yeah, you're fine. Jake, what up, Finn? Can we... Upgrade Finn. We can upgrade bar or block a bit. Do we have any specials we can upgrade? No, not with Finn. Go out with you, Jake. We'll definitely do health. Jake is a tank. And then maybe a bit. Actually, what? Hold on. I'm not looking at your specials. Let's. Ooh, the Jake shield. That's actually kind of sick. Let's definitely do that. And then maybe into the dog orang too. Oh, we're out of dosh. <laughs> um. Well, let's get on the boat at least. Set sail for uh. Let's uh, hmm. let's maybe drop off the penguins first, just in case. I feel like I know that we're fine, but in the rare chance that we're not, it'll be good not to have that to worry about. So maybe, because we got three little penguins, plus they'll be making penguin noises, which is a little distracting. So let's drop them off, then we'll make way for the Fire Kingdom. Make sure to finish up there, hopefully next episode. I believe it's just sailing in this direction is how we get to the uh, treehouse. That's kind of, it's like right in front of the treehouse is where we drop off the penguins, so yeah, we should be good. Just keep going this way. Might also see that Kraken or another pirate ship along the way, which we are still looking for. We need to fight the Kraken a little bit more, and of course, one last pirate ship until the seas are free. We are really, really near in the end of this game, aren't we? We just got a few of those like long-winded quests left, and then gotta go pull the plug and help get rid of the water that's cover been covering Oo for so long. Um, I think it's around here. Did I go the wrong way? No, I went the right way. Again, I really wish there was like a mini map, but that's all right. This is a five-year-old game. <laughs> it's not like they're going to add an update or anything. Me complaining is going to get me nowhere. Um, so let's keep on going. I drop off these little penguins. Um, I think, yeah, I think we'll still be missing one because we know where that one is near the Fire Kingdom, but we'll still be missing one, so maybe I should look into where that is. Um, of course, it could just be off uh, in the area we haven't explored yet that we're planning on exploring near the Fire Kingdom next episode. So I do need to keep that in mind. So let's drop off our little buddies here. There we go. All three of them. Taking its time. There we go. 8 out of 10, yeah. So we're still missing two, but we know where one of them is, so... Um, we'll start making our way towards that. Um, at the start of the next episode, I'll kind of be off in that direction so you guys don't have to sit here and sail. So I'll just continue a little bit off camera, just sailing that way, not doing anything important. So 
Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Make sure to tune in next time if you want to see us hopefully grab those last two penguins, maybe meet the Kraken, and of course, uh, finish out that little pirate quest. I'd love if we can get all that done in the next episode. It'll be a very eventful episode if we can get all that. So thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good day.